All right, guys, what is going on, Z Nation? Your boy Terry Z here, and today we're going to talk about the stimulus checks and the new proposal. Going to be coming in probably by Monday or Tuesday next week from the Republicans. And let's get into it here. So, this is an article by Forbes, pulled up some of the latest articles here, and let's just talk about some of the top things that is possibly going to be in here for this next stimulus bill and the stimulus bill kind of does relate to stocks because when the government does give out money to help businesses help us people the stock market seems to go the stock market really seems to like it and the stock markets go up like crazy but as you can see with all this uncertainty and jobs and everything I mean a lot of these companies are all red I mean people are just hoarding money right now I think people are cashing out assets and a lot of people are just maybe taking profits but a lot of the companies that I follow there's very few that is even you know green they're all red so that was a pretty bad day uh, Friday so let's hope that maybe getting some of the stimulus news out will help the stock market recover on Monday um, as you know the Democrats already put out their initial plan I think it was around like about a month ago and they wanted to go about three trillion dollars and the Republicans only want to go about one trillion but we don't know exactly what's gonna happen Mitch McConnell from the Republicans are going to unveil their plan on Monday or Tuesday we don't know what they did on their recess or break but hopefully we'll get that answer because we definitely need the stock market to come back up so it looks like from all parties from even President Trump and on both sides they want to give us the twelve hundred dollar stimulus check that'll be really really great so we can definitely hope to see that and looks like they're trying to keep everything the same as the first time so as long as you make less than seventy five thousand um, individual or hundred fifty thousand for married you would receive the twelve hundred dollar or twenty four hundred stimulus check which would be very very nice um, and Mnuchin is kind of pushing for it too so we got all people like kind of pushing for it which is really good and and some of the unemployment benefits we know that the Democrats would like to keep the $600 boost until January 31st of next year and the Republicans we heard that they want to keep it around 100 or 200 a week but that could be devastating so if the republicans put that out hope the democrats would try to push that up to at least three to four fifty at least because people in unemployment i mean this is going to cause major major damage in the economy with people paying rent car payments credit cards i mean getting groceries getting your you know daily essentials that's going to be rough so as we know, Mitch McConnell said he's going to put out a bill and it will be the starting point. So that's a good thing to hear, at least that he is up for negotiation. It ain't like he's saying that this is it, you know, take it or leave it. He is at least willing to negotiate. So let's keep on going here, guys. And here was some of the other stuff that the Democrats wanted to do. They wanted $1 trillion in state and local aid. 500 billion to state governments, 375 billion to local governments, and 75 billion for territories, tribes, and oversight. And the Republicans want to give zero. <laughs> they don't want to give anything. So that's kind of crazy. Um, under the student loans category, I mean, Republicans want to give zero, but the Democrats want to give 10,000. So hopefully there's a little middle ground. I mean, the rumor is that they might want to piece it up into. A couple different bills which is what the way the Republicans would like to do it but the Democrats want to get it all out in one big bill and that way they can't I guess you know I guess they don't want to see anyone sliding anything in that's unnecessary but I mean as you know there's so many companies working on a vaccine right now and as soon as any company comes up with a vaccine and it's worked in probably like you know phase three i mean you're talking the stock market is going to boom the cruise line the airlines the vaccine stocks the casinos all those you know travel industry stocks is just going to go crazy 
So could be a good time to pick a couple of those up just to hold on to. I mean, I wouldn't go invest, you know, a ton of money, but just a little bit just in case. And here we go. So the Republicans think that 600 a week is too generous, which I don't know. I mean, I mean, you know, as it, as it always goes, man, everything seems to go up in the world except your pay. And when your pay does go up, it's only like 30 cents a year. So, I mean, I think a lot of you guys can relate to that. And let's just keep going. I, I pulled up the two latest articles here. I try to keep up with stuff and keep the best of my knowledge of everything. And I know today, well, on yesterday, the eviction notice ended where landlords could go and give eviction notices out to their tenants, which is really, really devastating. Now, this is something here that's kind of interesting. This is a bill proposed by Senator Rob Portman, which would be basically if you return back to work up to 450 a week. Um, we're not sure of how many weeks that would be, but I would hope also like this 450 a week would go to people that were essential workers that have been working the whole way through the pandemic. I mean, it's not really necessarily fair just to give 450 a week to people just returning to work. But I think it should go to everyone that has, number one, been working the whole time through the pandemic and giving people an incentive to go back to work. But I mean, if I give my honest opinion, I think we need, you know, monthly stimulus checks, you know, whether that'd be a thousand every month per people. Um, you figure they gave us $1,200 back in March and we are four months fast forward. The Republicans kept saying that they wanted to wait and see because they thought we was going to see a V-shaped recovery. But as you know we have not seen a v-shaped recovery um if anything it's going down i mean the coronavirus cases are going up daily and nothing's getting better so since they decided to wait and see and now that we have waited now that we have waited and see i think they need to go back and start giving people monthly checks i mean canada does it and they seem to be doing pretty good. I mean, they don't even want us from the United States crossing their borders. So we've been hitting like all time highs and they seem to be doing good because they give their people money to say, here's your monthly check, stay home, pay your bills and let's get over this virus. So I think that would help here in the US as well if they would just give out some checks to help people, you know, pay their bills think that would really help so yeah I'm hoping that we get another stimulus check that way I could get a, a little bit more money into the stock market um, I got a little bit here in Robinhood as you can see and I'm hoping to pick up a couple shares I'm hoping to get my account enabled for credit spreads which is what I want to do and in another video I will go over why I have a hundred shares of genius <laughs> now I know you guys are gonna hate on me for that but you know, it is what it is. It was a learning experience, and now I'm kind of stuck with it. Um, but hasn't been too bad. It honestly hasn't been too bad right now. And yes, I did buy a dollar's worth of Dogecoin, and looks like I am up 0.28 percent. So hey, that's a that's a big win. So or 2.25 now. But anyway, all right, guys, going to be it for this video. If you like the stimulus update videos, um, I like to mix those in along with stocks because I believe that they're all kind of connected. And I think they all do blend in well together. And hopefully next week we will get that news and I'll bring you that update and I'll update you on some of my um, stock moves for next week. So until then, guys, I'll catch you all in the next video. And remember, Z Nation for life.